Okay, so guys, uh, welcome to the Gibson. My name is Simone and today I'm going to be making a couple of cocktails for you. The first drink I'm going to be making for you, it's called the Scandal in Bohemia and it's kind of take on a classic Sazerac or maybe it has element of Sazerac. So it's a um, swizzle as a category of cocktails and eventually we're going to make it a little bit more fresh and uh, obviously complex on the palate. So it's based on actually a full portion of Wood for Reserve rye whiskey, which is actually infused with the sweet grass. So we're having actually 50 ml of Wood for Reserve. Then second ingredients we're gonna be pouring, obviously as I described, it has element of Sazerac. We're gonna put a little bit of absinthe. In this case, four dashes of absinthe. After absinthe, obviously, uh, we were thinking to use an element which is related to our concept. So eventually pickling, preserving ingredients, little bit of brines, vinegars. So we're gonna add <coughs> a bar spoon of lemon preserve. Lemon preserve is actually an element that belongs to, is originally from uh, Asia and North Africa. In this case, we went for Moroccan style of lemon preserve. So it is eventually fermented lemons in brine. So basically water and salt with touch of spices. We're gonna be using literally a bar spoon of it. And it, what it gives a kind of savory complexity to the drink as well. Then uh, because it's a scandal in Bohemia, this cocktail was made thinking about a way to get high in a funny way and obviously in a legal way. So we're gonna be using a touch of poppy oil. So poppy oil is the next element we're gonna be using. Just a little touch. This is our texturizing agent and it also gives a uh, obviously different mouthfeel and a little bit of extra complexity to the drink. Perfect. <coughs> then, uh, next ingredients, uh, we need something which gives a touch of zinginess, so we're gonna put a splash of lemon juice and touch of uh, bar caramelized barley candy. So caramelized barley candy is something which maybe should remind you flavor of orange as well. So, next element is a touch of cannabis. In this case, hemp, so sativa cannabis. Yeah. A little touch of cannabis. Perfect. So we're gonna swizzle it down. So cocktail is gonna be nice and chill. So we're gonna serve this cocktail in this kind of um, goblet style of glass. Just gonna execute a little bit of chocolate ring on the glass, which we're gonna dip in this kind of fondue style. We're gonna complete our crusta using a little bit of sandalwood dust. So sandalwood is another element which may go very well with the uh, category of spirits we're using in this drink. So a little bit of sandalwood dust. Obviously, because we since we uh, swizzle this cocktail, we don't want to add extra dilution, so we're gonna serve it over a single chunk of ice. Beautiful. I'm gonna strain it straight away inside. Be a double strain, so eventually we're gonna avoid to have the cannabis, we want to incorporate only the flavor, we don't want to incorporate the cannabis as one of the solid elements of the drink. Fantastic. Then uh, for the garnish, uh, we were thinking to put something which is very theatrical, but also add a beautiful aroma to the drink. So we're gonna serve uh, <coughs> a little bit of uh, bird skin, which we're gonna gently roast on the side, as you can see. So we're going to be roasting uh, this uh, birch skin which is going to release a beautiful aroma which again it's matching perfectly the woodiness of the whiskey and it also does a lot of uh, theatrical elements as you can see. Perfect so this is the base for our garnish then obviously what you need 
to smoke your uh, sativa is obviously a licorice pipe. So you're gonna put the licorice pipe after you smoke your uh, sativa. You need something that obviously uh, boosts you a little bit up. So we're gonna serve it with a little bit of chocolate cut and to make everything more sexy with a bit of icing sugar on the top. And there you have it. This is Scandal in Bohemia.